People with genetic hemochromatosis are at risk of not being able to process iron, so the iron levels rise over time. And people with too much iron in their bodies are at risk of serious ill health, including liver cancer, diabetes, heart problems, and also mental health difficulties. I kept going to the doctor saying something's not right with me, I don't feel very well. And eventually I'd ordered a private blood test and then I sent it on to the GP and I got a genetic test and it confirmed it. Unfortunately there's no cure but the treatment is remarkably simple. People will typically go into hospital and be vinisected. And vinisection is the technical name for the blood donation process and people need to continue to donate for the rest of their lives. In the UK, there are almost 1.2 million people at risk, but unfortunately, fewer than 20,000 people have been diagnosed. Many people have this condition and don't know they've got it because of the nature of the symptoms, they can often be ascribed to other illnesses. And so awareness and advocacy becomes critical. We're the only charity in the UK that works to support people affected by iron overload. Last year, we helped over 9,500 people through our Facebook support group, popular iron brew socials, and also through our helplines. We've worked with the Royal College of Nursing to produce a set of guidelines to improve the care of people affected by the condition. We've produced online e-learning resources for healthcare practitioners and have been endorsed by both the Royal College of Nursing and the Royal College of General Practitioners. It is really important for GPs to have a heightened awareness because it's very underdiagnosed. And the treatment for it is really simple. If you put that together, it's a win for the doctors who are diagnosing it. It's a win for the patients because they will be restored to a normal lifespan and a lot of their symptoms will improve. And that blood can be used for other people who need it in the NHS. At the beginning of the COVID pandemic, our community really struggled to get treatment in hospital. Understandably, people were having their appointments cancelled and simultaneously the NHS Blood Transfusion Service was struggling to secure enough blood. So we came together with a collaborative project to secure an additional 800 appointments so they, for the first time, could become blood donors. Shortly before the pandemic, we had worked with community groups in Northern Ireland to understand their experiences of genetic hemochromatosis. It's remarkably common, and so we went to Derry, London Derry, and set up a screening programme with five community groups. And to date, we've screened over 300 people, and one in 10 of those people have been found to have the condition. Our experience was that my uncle, who was in his early 60s, became very unwell and he started to display some neurological symptoms including mood swings and apparent fleeting loss of memory. And we became aware as a family that this was something we could all potentially carry within us. Many families really struggle to get their other family members tested. And so we've introduced a service which provides genetic testing at a highly subsidised rate people get counselling before, during and after the process. This latest initiative is answering a need, finding partners and making a solution which they can literally post out to people. And to be a patron of such a charity where you know they are ready to stand up and be counted, they are ready to find answers themselves, that's an enormous thing to be a part of. I'm just really excited about the future. This is very much like a family and I'm just very intent on raising as much awareness as I possibly can. There are treatments available and I've got a huge network of support from my specialist at the hospital and HUK as well.